Holy crap, I haven't been recording for a while. Okay, so here's the situation. I don't know where we cut off last time, but I got rocketry and I got everything. But the Apollo project is going to take longer to build than we actually have left. So we're going to have to see if there's any way uh, that, uh, yeah, that can be sped up by building rails here, which I haven't been paying attention to. I haven't been paying attention to a lot of things. Uh, or just how I have my people set up, because now actually it should be going better as far as and somewhat. 13 turns. Uh, we've got 11 left, but we'll be hitting the golden age soon. Unfortunately, we starved a turn there, so that probably didn't help our production at all. Um, let's see. Um, but yeah, we should have the Olympic Park up, and that'll give us another Golden Age, uh, which should be useful. I can't believe that the, uh, what's his name, the Mongolians actually got stronger after I gave them that shellacking. Uh, I did not expect them uh, to be around much longer. I expect a lot of these guys to be around much longer, but uh, the people who've collapsed... Uh, have been relatively few, despite the fact that there's been all kinds of un, uh, unstable people for a long period. Like, look at United Mongolia. Still is frowny again. The Ottomans have been frowny forever. The Germans have been frowny forever. Everyone's frowny for, like, such long times. And they just, they just, just they're just around. Okay, so now we got our golden age. Um so that'll last us the next eight turns, so that's good. And we're counting by ones now, which is good also. Although it's not that great. I mean, thank you very much for coming up with that one. And uh, let's see, how many more turns? Nine turns. <laughs> so we should just make it, I guess. Hmm. Let me see if there's any way I can set it up better. But probably not. I'm probably pushing it as it is. Maybe it cuts out on some trees. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any way? Okay, we're not starving anymore, which is nice. Aha! Okay, how many hammers? I hate having to micromanage like this. Where's the hammer rate? Okay. 130. 128. Oh, okay. That's. I didn't. Yeah, I guess that's. How many is that? 130. 124. Dang. I really am not reading this shit right at all. Okay. Stagnant. We went from. It doesn't make it doesn't make another turn, and we got no more food to give. Otherwise, we'll start giving more people. All right, it's gonna come right down to the last turn, pretty much. I guess I don't know. Or not? Oh, you finally want open borders with me? Pretty nice, yeah. And I'd like to trade for that corn, but I can't. Oh, that's nice. Go build the channel tunnel. Yeah, uh, it's funny. These guys declared war on me, but they're making absolutely no effort to uh, do that war. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm good for peace. Let's go chop down some forests. Maybe that'll help. I'm really not sure if that'll do anything. Germany made peace with Arabia. Okay, good. You want to do, have some peace? No, I still want that town. You just can't let it go, can you? Can't let it go. You're not getting the damn town. Oh, look at, oh, there's an, uh, one of their cities went uh, independo there. Well, they'll probably take it back right away, but it's still... Uh... Man. This is an exciting game that's really pissing me off because I played very long and I think I made a number of key mistakes 
they're probably going to result in me not winning. All right, I'll take your corn. That defensive pack sounds good. I love defensive packs with you. Because you're a big old scary dude. At least as far as I can see. Oh, stealing technology is a pretty cool idea. I'm going to have to start using that. If nothing else, I learned that little thing from this game. Is that stealing technologies is not too hard and pretty cool. Oh, good. I'm at peace with somebody, or am I? Oh, 15 gold? All right. That's kind of a funny funny deal to make, but fine. You want peace too? Yeah, I'll take your world map. Good. I remember you used to get extra points in like Civ 2 and all that uh, for how many turns you had with P, uh, of peace. I got rid of that though. Oh, with Spanish. The Spanish are hardcore. They don't want any peace. They're like, F you, bro. All right. What are we at turn wise now? Six turns. Okay, well, that should work. But, is that what it said? Yeah, six turns. So we should be able to win this. God dang. And I'm sorry you missed those turns, but to be frank, they weren't very interesting. Because nobody wants freaking, you know, I, and we got this war, but nobody actually wants to do any war. Which is good. I don't want to do any war either. Because war has nothing to do with me winning this game. War does not win me anything. Yeah, cutting down trees. But yeah, I do like it how it just kind of came down to the wire right here. But I definitely got off war at the end here. <laughs> like I was like, yeah, let's beat the crap out of these, these Mongols and take their territory. Because they declared war on us. And then, you know, it wasn't enough when I beat them one. I had to keep beating on them until I took their capital. But I really thought, oh, good, we're down to four turns now. Okay, so we, we managed to clinch it up. Uh, I think. We'll see. Pretty much denuding the countryside, starving my folks. Man, this is just like this is real Soviet Union, isn't it? Oh, oh, whatever. I'm just glad I'm able to win because, like, yeah, one thing I could have done is try to switch to... Uh, uh, bureaucracy right before I discovered it, but I didn't want to take the extra turn of anarchy. Um, not really for stability purposes, but I was just worried about, you know, would that one turn be the difference? And the way it came down, it looked like it was going to be the difference. Like, it looked like there were a lot of things that were going to be the difference. And so I got really lucky with that. And now apparently I'm at P. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, we got fur right there. Not anymore. I'm cutting down that forest timber. I didn't lose any cities either. Very happy about that. Not even Karakoram. Who always riots and wants to be like the rest of these Mongols. That's a weird game, though, when the, the Germans had the artillery, but they still had riflemen. I don't know how the hell they did that. But you rarely see that. Or I've never, I, I've never seen that before. Never seen it. But anyway. Man, this music is depressing. Yeah, I hate to hear that. I just hate it when you switch to the modern era. Because it's just, you know, like the Renaissance music is nice. I think the industrial music is my favorite. But they're all really, you know, good classical pieces. And then you get to this, this minimalistic dude they got who just like, everything sounds crushing and like stressful. And uh, I guess maybe it's good, the mood of the game or whatever. But it's, you know, not very happy. I'm a happy guy. Oh, so we built Cristo Redentor. Don't care, because I got what I needed. That's two or three goals, and then four more turns, and nobody takes any of my cities, that'll be the rest. Gosh darn it, I don't know how many turns I skipped, but I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I had to kind of pull out the stops there. I thought I was pretty safe, 
And then I went and did the math, and I was like, wow, I am not safe. Uh, yeah, I'll just give myself something to do while we're waiting to finish this off. All right, I'm just going to hit the button a few times. And I imagine nobody's going to try to... Oh, boy, who's got war with me now? Mongols, gosh darn it, really? Don't attack me. Don't attack me right away, though, okay? Okay, International Congress. Oh, yeah, I always accept the charges. All right, they got more advanced units now, the Mongols do. All right, that's fine. How did I get... Huh, how did I get a golden age? That doesn't matter. Nothing matters other than the fact that... Gosh darn it. I mean, it's cool. I'm glad I built all this shit, but... But I don't care. All right. All right. Oh, we got artillery and all that. Oh, you got... Oh, they rebuilt that city. How nice. <sighs> hey, now I got to freaking pay attention. Fine. The Mongols have infantry yet? I hope not. I really don't want to deal with it. I wonder why do I got uh, the channel tunnel? Does it give you? And I got ten turns of uh, special time. I don't think so though. So I have no idea how that happened. All right, where's our other? Oh, we got we got this guy bombing us. Okay, whatever. Uh, why do you Mongols want to fight me anyway? You want to take your capital back? I guess I don't know. All right. Anyway, I'm not doing shit. Uh, I'm just gonna watch you guys. Let me save it real quick. Uh, well, I got auto save uh, just to make sure. I just basically have to make sure I don't lose any cities. I don't think they have uh, the assembly line yet, even though they have artillery. Okay. No, I'm not attempting anything. I know what's going to happen, and I know we're going to get into another war, and whatever. It's not important because the game will be over next turn. And so I don't think they can even possibly stop me. I feel kind of bad about denuding all those forests. Yep, you guys can't get here fast enough to do anything about this. And that's it. Goodbye. Or do I have to play the 1950s turn as well? It's almost number one rank, too. No, we get to do this one first, I guess. God, I hate... Th These international congresses suck. I think it go on until you build the UN or something. You want... No. Oh, good. No actually won. You want Rome? Sure, give Rome to them. Anything to weaken the tough guys. I don't want crap. Bismarck wants Rome. Well, you can't have it. And by that, I mean you can have it. You want some Arabian city. No. Uh, De Gaulle wants Cadiz. No. Uh, Sovereign wants... I don't care, but no, but yes. It's fine. Uh, you want Jakarta. Uh, yeah, I think you should get everything he wants. Ragnar wants Fort George. No way. Good, nobody wanted anything from me, huh? Well, didn't I win? Uh, next turn, I guess. Oh, we built the Triumphal Arch, too, in the in the city because we, we did so great, you know? Everybody's so happy with us. Um, great. Stop building stuff. Stop being so productive. It's turn off. All right, that should be it. Yeah, that's the end of that shit. Oh, my Lord. Phew.
Phew. That was a long, that was a long and tiring game, boys. And I didn't think I was going to win. I was very happy that we were able to come out on top. Here, if you want to see all the crap that happened, go ahead. Feast your eyes. It's not. So, yeah, of course, this is a 600 start. So, as you can see, we slowly ambled our way across the map. Unfortunately, because of our crappy city choice, we ended up allowing the Germans to have a wedge into us that we would eventually have to do something about. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to do it directly against them because they helpfully just collapsed. Look how big Mongolia is. What a bunch of jerks. Uh, and then they foolishly declared war against us. Yeah, let's see. We took Brest, uh, Levance there, Litovsk. Yeah, I should have... Yeah, well, I, you see, I mean, they started to collapse, but then they ended up taking it all back and ended up staying huge pretty much forever. <laughs> it's funny to see the, the Egyptians, uh, you know, get taken out and then bruh, come back again. Wow, an interesting world for the end of the game there. And the Arabians lasted till the end. They usually don't last that long. That's probably why the Turks didn't get that powerful. Wow, look how big the Arabians were. And stayed. And, oh, America was real weak in that game. They weren't able to expand to the coast. That's too bad. Oh, well. It's only four hours. It felt like forever. Anyway, so your score there. You see, our score was always pretty good. Uh, never in the lead. Who's the most powerful? Wow, really? The Portuguese? Or no, it's probably the Arabians. Yeah, it's the Arabians. I say, it didn't make much sense. Where are we at? We're somewhere in the middle. That's okay. The Germans weren't that powerful. GNP? Oh, wow. We're doing pretty good. Uh, manufactured goods, damn. Crop yield, yeah, we're up there pretty good. Power, no, yeah. Culture, not. Whoa, do we start? We started. Wow, I was not aware we were doing so well culturally. Um, yeah. So let's see. Of course, we're the oh, GMP was number one. Manufactured goods, number three in crop yield. Number five in soldiers, yeah. Land area, of course, number one. Although it's not, of course, because they had all those other colonies. But, yeah. Life expectancy. Whoa, geez. Mother Russia, not too good to live in. Uh, big surprise, right? All right. Top cities, not one of our... Oh, Piskov was number five for whatever reason. We didn't really build crap. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, we... Uh, Troops that we lose. We lost a lot of troops. Oh, 13? Only 13? Because, like, I thought we lost. Cannons, 22. Yeah. A hell of a time. And we are up there with Dan Quayle. Thanks a lot. Jerks, even though this game doesn't really reflect that. Oh, well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it was a long-ass game. Uh, but we did pretty good. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.